Morning everyone and thank you uh, for joining us for another popular week. Getting up in the viewing ranks, aren't we? Oh, 16 hours, 17 Why shouldn't we be after knocking them in like golf balls last weekend? Hope everyone had a win on a good project. Um, and any the other winners we had, Catkins, which was excellent. Amicus was huge. A couple that were unlucky. Winks. Winks. Pretty good weekend. Yeah, that was good. Very good weekend, in fact. Yeah, it's a very good weekend. Anything else? No. Okay. We'll rip straight into it this week. We'll go to Newcastle All right. Friday. Newcastle. Newcastle Cup Day. It's a big day up there for the uh, Newcastle Jockey Club. Do a great job. Gary Harley's been on the phone, getting the meeting up and going. So it'll be a big day up there on Saturday, on Friday. Battle of Hastings. He uh, was disappointing last start after a good first start win. So let's hope he can improve on Saturday and uh, Friday. No reason why he can't. Two horses got a lot of time for in the spring stakes: Wudang Mountain and Devil Hawk. Uh, Devil Hawk probably more comes into interest. Can he bounce back on his, his last start? He can, but he's. I'm just questioning is how genuine he is. He's still a cult. He is a brother to Hawkesbury. Um, but uh, last start he just did a few too many things wrong. So, look, it's not a strong race. He's certainly there with a genuine chance. And, yeah, as you said, we're well represented at uh, Wudang Mountain. Great winner. Mm. First, uh, last start at Rose Hill. Gee, that's going to be strong form for this race. And I think, for mine, he's the one to beat. Okay. Um... She's clean in the Tibby. She's drawn to get the scenic route. 17 and a field of 16 plus 2. Gotta make it hard, but she's come back well. She's the class horse in the race. Well, well weighted. But as you say, she's gonna be coming via the Cape. But James McDonald, well, wow, how well did he ride last week? He's a tremendous rider and will be calling on all the best of visibility on Friday. Doomben during the winter. Didn't have a lot of luck. No luck. Got back. Then we Tried out. extremely well the other day at Warwick Farm. Mm. So plus plus the more, nine plus days. Plus all the cliche. Less than nine cliche days. Cliche. I always just come back well and I'm happy with it and all this. Apart from the barrier draw, there's no reason why she can't win this race. No. Thank you. Cameron Handicap, Strathair, 1500 metres, three runners, Flingo Star. I'm imposing Sadler's Lake. Uh, he's also in it Saturday round. Yep. As is I'm imposing, uh, 2,000 metres on Saturday, 1,500 here. We had the 2,000 metre race in our sights, that was always the preference. I don't like changing in between runs, but this race does look attractive, doesn't it? Mm. He's drawn well, James McDonald again rides, or rides, in a field of 13. He's a good old horse and he's returned well. His sectionals the other day were fantastic. First up run was massive. Flamingo Star, he was disappointing first up. So I think this is a slightly easier race for him and he can be competitive. Back on top of the ground, a big plus? Don't know. His form was good in, in Germany on wet tracks. I don't think we should be using that as an excuse. Okay. It's sad this lake, I think he'll run Saturday. Did he? Beyond thankful in the cup. Didn't come as much as a surprise when he won the Wyong Cup on no. a quick backup. No. I think we tipped that too, didn't we? I don't know. He's drawn unfavourably, but the great man at Bowman stays aboard. Yeah, he's um, just racing. He's won four Saturday races or better this preparation, including listed races. Um, yeah, the 2300 is a query, huge query, but uh, he's fit. Beauty. Saturday, Raw Ramwick. Barry's look good on Saturday. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty, pretty happy good. with him. Good. Counter attack. First up. Um, draw an awkward. Good field. Good field. Tried very well. He's come back well this horse. Um, he spreaded well fresh last preparation. Uh, Ramwick. Bit of rain expected. Won't worry him. No. And um, he's always to follow this preparation. Thanks, Chris. Bill Ritchie, handicap. Index linked heart tester Saddler's Lake. She were well represented here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't think it's that clear cut. Uh, Index link first up. He's come back well. He's come back well. Um, likely to need a run or two in further distance. Heart tester. He did have the scenic route last week. Yeah, he was four and five wide all the way. Um, 
except when he crossed from barrier 10. Um, if that run didn't take too much out of him, I think he's a good chance. He's drawn well in a suitable race. And Sadler's Lake, we saw how impressive he was first up, um, gets in here on the limit way. Yeah, Jim Cassidy takes over. Ty can't ride 54, obviously. Beautiful gait. Bit short, 1400, but he did win over 1400 first up in a weaker race. Yep. I'm just hoping he's still got some speed in those legs before we step up over longer trips down the track. Dupin, 1200 metres. He's just flying the source. Absolutely. Him back to uh, midweeks. He had two, two on the trot and carried weight. 56 half Saturday, big track. And did a tough last start. Um, um, did, yeah, so three wide, big weight, as you say. I, I can't can't fault the horse. And his his work through the week's been sensational. Just got all Cerise there as well. Um, Barry yeah, four, I you didn't, you didn't a field of up. seventeen. She's the next in order. Um, just whoever underlines our sheet hasn't got. It. Yeah, Sophie did the sheets today, Phil. Well, it's normal for her to leave one. Blink has uh, come off here, but Jim Cassidy goes yeah. on. It's just like that's, the same. That's <laughs> <laughs> what did Jimmy say after he trialled the other day? He, he trialled her on Monday, on Tuesday. He said, I left me ring on the track. So I'm sure that's... I don't know what he did. Good right. imagination, can imagine what happened. But. She's going well. Hopefully we don't get rain for her. Jesus, mm. she just never has any luck this year. So um, she's going terrific. Delectation in the shorts, small select field of good sprinters. He's a handy one himself and James McDonald. He's getting a bit of getting a bit of the old Mac Daddy riding for the team. Well, use the best when they're available. Hugh was off at the right, but he's obviously riding Terra Vista. I respect that. He's a great horse. And probably the one to beat. Best spinner in the world after Brazen Bow and a couple of others. <laughs> Should take one. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, He's going great. James Rader in the trial the other day went good. Probably going to be a bit sharp from 1100. Oh, I don't know about that, mate. Mm -hmm. He might be attacking the line pretty well anyway. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, Sophie, you didn't underline it all three. Um, nothing right there. doing there. The old Colgate Optic White, we'll give him a plug. George Main Stakes, three runners. Moriarty, you've ended up going the mile with him again. It's Kermit Eck. So they've changed the name. Mm -hmm. Colgate Optic White Stakes. Wow. They got their money's worth. Raw Descent and Kermit are here, as well as Moriarty. Um, you've got to be pretty happy going into a group one with representation you've got here, Pell. Yeah, Moriarty, he was disappointing the other day. I'm pretty sure it was just the wet track. Kermit, he went terrific. He was caught three wide with no cover. Um, and he's drawn well. On Saturday, Glenn Schofield rides Raw Descent. She was a bit flat last start. I reckon it was just six and up. Stuck on wood. Yeah. So, um, yeah, 1,500, uh, 1,600 metres, third up for her is no problem. Rain or no rain, she'll be just as hard to beat. Uh, we'll rip through the hill stakes nice and quickly. Please keep your summations small and neat. Who shot the barman? Barry 15. Awkward gate, going terrific. Third up from a spell, he'll be ready. So next start. Beaten up, third up here. Um, disappointing last start, needs a better track, so hopefully the rain doesn't come. If that's the case, he'll be hard to beat. Forteller, mm, probably one of the first couple. Yeah, first up run good, second up disappointing, so he's going to come back from Melbourne tonight. Uh, it's worked before, that's how he won the Randbed off a similar type preparation. Never can discount him, but he needs to lift a bit. Graham Marshall, uh, first that run was good. Going terrific, um, just like who shot the barman. Well, I shouldn't underestimate who shot the barman, he's a pretty good horse. He's a very good horse. So, Graham Marshall, he's going good, but I think needs 2400. Janoub, he was outstanding the other day. Exactly right. Um, wide gate, that's the query for him. We'll just have to have a good look at the speed maps, whether we ride him forward and back. Um, but on a metropolitan path, I can't follow him. Uh, I'm imposing, we've touched on. Hawkesburg, he lines up here, he's also in it for the naturalism in Melbourne. Yeah, he's, was, his both runs have been poor, simple as that. Yeah. Um, needs to find a, 
find another gear. 2,000 metre distance will suit and if we stayed up here and got a wet track it might suit. Little preferment, not little preferment, big preferment gets the one kilo allowance being a four year old, wait for age conditions. Cube armor knocks for the right here which is probably an interesting... Um, yeah, booking. Well, not interesting but it's... Well he's... Puts the right idea in your head anyway, I tried I, the other day. I wouldn't swap our three in the Melbourne Cup, who shot the barman, Grand Marshal and Preferment for any other horse in Australia. I think they're all going terrific. I would be surprised if any one of them won on Saturday, but going forward, I'm sure they're the horses to follow. I'm not saying the other Melbourne Cup prospects can't win either, but the likes of Opinion, um, there's a few others there, but these three really excite me. Uh, the 1600 metre 85 Hollywood bound ballet suite Maranostro and Danju. Hollywood bound, just a consistent, ever ready, tradesman like racehorse. Yeah. Drawn well, racing well, very hard to beat. Ballet suite, thought it looked like a better run first up. First up run was excellent. Drawn a little bit awkward on Saturday in Barrier 14, but uh, Hugh Bowman in the saddle. She'll be charging home, Liam. Aaron Ostro thought he was entitled to give a bit more at the tail end of uh, last Saturday. He dropped me back the mile in. I think he might have been ridden too good. They just went too slow for his own good. Okay. They spring home 33.4 and um, he couldn't go any quicker. Dan Duke, horse showed a lot of promise. He's returning off a fairly lengthy spell here. Good start of five. I'm sure the mile will be a bit short, but um, he's had plenty of work and tried well coming into it. But um, yeah, definitely the one five. Caulfield, two in the naturalism. No, one in the naturalism. We've got balloted out. Yeah. Biometric. Hawkesburg, we've touched on, and multi facets. Barrier Plus three, old this bloke. Barrier two, field of 16, D. Oliver. Should get a lovely run. Mile or suit. I think it's a great chance to end the day. Yeah. Yep, that's it. Anything else? Topics of discussion? No, really. I think you'll be getting a lot more tickets coming from the ATC shortly. Oh, those tickets will be getting looked after. Bit more promotion. Um, what else was there? Something? Yeah. But now things are going good. Good yeah. week. Yeah. All right. Get involved. Saturday, Royal Round Week. It'll be a cracker. First day of the official spring carnival, apparently. See you all there.